Legend of Total War here, and today we're trying to save a doomed campaign. Trying to save some people from their doom. Playing as Malachi McKayson, this campaign is literally one turn away from campaign defeat. He has lost all of his territory, apart from the Monolith of Flesh, it's the last settlement that we've got. And he's got one army left, which is sandwiched between Sigvald's forces and the Demon Prince. It's not the greatest army of all time, and he doesn't really have any great equipment either. So, we've got our work cut out for us here, that's for sure. So, we're definitely going to lose this. There is nothing we can do about it. Even if Sigvald was to just turn around, it's going to revolt. There's just nothing we can do to save the settlement. Even if I was to recruit an army, we've barely got any, any money. So, all the regiment of renown that I could possibly recruit with this, I wouldn't be able to beat Jeez. this. So, just give up on that. Being homeless for one or two turns is not the end of the world, especially when you're playing as a, a horde. I believe if we're in encamp stance, we won't take um, like attrition, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, here's another problem. That, is that I don't really want to go up against the Demon Prince here because I think we've got better options. If we have a look at the Great Book of Grudges, one of the ways out of the situation is to confederate our way out. Even though we're super weak, if we settle enough Grudges, we could confederate Thorak Ironbrow and inherit seven regions because we're only 2,000 Grudges away from him. Ungrim and Grombrindle have been defeated, so if we were to confederate them, we wouldn't gain any territory. The other two have done more Grudges, so it makes sense to do Thorak Ironbrow. And if we could just get a region that's far enough away, at least we're not like on the verge of defeat, basically. And that would, you know, give him a bit more time with this campaign in order to sort of recover this a little bit. Although this situation out here is pretty bloody bad. Now, in order to get grudges, killing this guy here for 18 doesn't really make sense. So if we go out this way, however, this army doesn't seem that big of a deal. So why don't we just like go a bit this way? Now, this guy's turn goes first. We have to keep in mind that he might have teleport stance. Even though he has an all cornate army, he would possibly still have the ability to teleport. If he's within range here, he can teleport, that'll be an ambush battle, and bring these guys in, that'd be awful. So we actually need to go into Force March here, and move over to... Over to here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, just couldn't decide on which tile to stand on. Okay, so over here, Malice Dark Blade, but we also see... Hang on, there's a setting that resets. Hang on. I don't want... Okay, yeah, that's it. So Mouse Dark Blade's over here. I don't think he's going to attack us over the end turn. He's got loads of other armies over here. How strong is he? That's strong. How strong it is? Very strong. Okay. All right. Well, Sigvald's got an army here and there. There's no way Sigvald's going to get us. So if they attack us, their turn comes after Mouse Dark Blade. So maybe we'll survive. Maybe. Okay. Now we can't get any Grudge Settlers because we need to have. We need to be in our own territory, can't do it in foreign territory, so we have to wait until next turn. Assuming we take either the Blighted Grove or Black Rock. Got Ulrika over here, let's chuck her in. Okay, and we just need to survive this turn somehow. Alright, well let's start with looking at some equipment over here, and whoa, how about you actually equip unique item? To be fair though, it doesn't automatically equip it, and I've had a bunch of people send in save files, I didn't have it equipped, so... He's not the, the first person to do this. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of people saying like, Oh, Legend, this is, a, this is a fabricated disaster. Maybe it is, but I don't really care. As long as it's interesting, it's also a challenge, then that's totally fine. I have no problem with you guys fabricating disasters and sending them in. Although that being said, it's really hard to tell when somebody's fabricated it or not. Um, and I, don't, I just don't think it matters. Okay, so we've also got some other equipment over here. Now, as for the Talisman of Preservation, I want to give that to Ulrika because I think I can actually make more use out of her than the others. And let's give her armored of silver steel. Give you that one and that one. And give Gotrick an obsidian lodestone. That's a crap item, but whatever. Could fuse these two, but honestly, dawnstones are pretty good. Oh, sorry, I've only got one dawnstone. I could fuse the dragon helms. Hmm. No, just, just leave it as it is. I could end up getting a bloody trickster shard. <laughs> Wouldn't that be useless? Okay. Uh, then the next thing is... Okay, that's good that you've got this at tier 3. So that means the Spirit of Grogni won't disengage. That doesn't mean that, the, that we're unstoppable because they can take out all of our ground forces and then disarm losses. Uh, okay, let's grab a Dragon Slayer. I can't attach it to the army this turn. Let's get all of these engineers. It's going to use up all of our money, but that's okay. What can I do? That's okay. I expect to get attacked over the end turn, which will probably give us money. So what I want to do is get rid of most of the ground forces and have like a really aerial 
type force, because that works really well with Malachi. Alright, and I don't think there's anything else I can do. Another weird thing is that he's allied to, to the World Walkers. It's so bizarre. Alright, if we have a look here, ally mission... Yeah, okay, I don't see us attacking that. Just so weird. Anyway, let's just move on and see if we can just get through this end turn here, because I, I wasn't given a whole lot of options. There's nothing else in diplomacy we could do. The Demon Prince didn't come over here. He occupied the Forest of Decay because that was a ruin. Mal Starkblades had his turn. Cool. I'm really not that worried about this one army here. There's Archeon. Oh, two armies. Mm. Two legendary heroes. Haha, <laughs> legend suck shit. You got caught in Force Marge, you noob. Hmm. Well, I wasn't really given great options, but you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna have to win. Just find a way to win. All right, I'm gonna put the Razor Standard on you, just because it's not really great on a single entity because it's a minuscule amount of damage. All right, well, what's the difficulty on? It's on Legendary, but it's not Iron Man mode. Very hard, very hard battle realism. Okay, cool. Well, this might be a very short disaster campaign. Short, <laughs> or it could be a very long one. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you guys will be able to just look at how long the video is and go, well, yeah, well, obviously he's going to win this battle because it's like four hours long. <laughs> so, but the thing is, at the time of are recording this, I have no idea. All right, this map here could be useful to us. All right, I got an idea. I'll take these guys off fire at will. I'm going to put them over here. Put them over here. Okay, let's go control group one, control group two there. Yeah, I reckon we can get a lot of value on this particular map here with the Spirit of Grogni. If, as long as we take out any units that can actually attack it, then we've got unlimited ammo with it. So as long as I don't come over here with too strong of a unit, we should be fine. Let's see how we go. All right, if we can bomb them, that would be great. All right, let's send the Brimstone Guns over to have a little look. Now, we do have access to Grape Shot, but it has significantly reduced range, so there's no point having more powerful shot that can't hit them just yet. That guy there is a bit of a problem. Okay, there's another setting that needs to be changed. I like to have Hero Portraits on. Thank you. Yeah, I don't like that. send these in. Actually, if you guys could take out the Marauder Horse Muscles. Is that within range? For... No, not yet. Only when they get to about here. Yeah, take out the Spawn of Slanesh. And yeah, you guys should take out the Marauder Horseman. I am a bit worried about this unit here. I think that's quite dangerous to us. Enemy reinforcements are coming in. Like I said, focusing on units that can actually attack the flying units, because that's our key to victory here, for sure. A little bit blobbed up with these. Yeah, and anything that's particularly quick, because Ulrika has a speed of 90, so, and we're on Force March, so she can't outrun Seeker Chariots, no chance of that. Actually, it would be even better if you guys could... Okay, make sure that the gyrocopters aren't in the way would be good. Yeah, not to get hit by them. That would be, that would be really good. Okay, Spirit of Grogni incoming soon. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that guy there because he's flying. And he'd be difficult to take out with our guys here. Cannons would take him out fairly quickly. Okay, nice. Nice blob you got there. Mind if I bomb you? Yeah, that's what I want to see. Okay, Spirit of Grogni time. Let's pop that in. Alright. This is looking pretty good so far. Yes. There's Echo of Hellbrass as well. Taking him out would be important because he has area effect regen. Alright, well, 
let's let's do that with this if we can. Try to focus fire on him if we can. But this is it, we're dishing out shitloads of damage at the moment. That's fantastic. This is going really nicely. Okay, let's keep bombing in. No, no, keep going for those heroes. That's, I'm, just, I'm worried about, I'm going to hit my own units, that's all. Still trying to get ready before they just rush over. God damn, we are dishing out some serious damage here. Keep focusing on Echo Hellbrass, just because he'll be able to provide loads of regen. You're going to drop bombs on guys as they're coming in. So that's fine. Yeah, don't shoot at infantry. They're not good at that. They're good against monstrous infantry and chariots, which there are a few of. I don't... Hmm. We should probably get rid of these Marauder Horse Masters. I think they've got enough ammunition to actually take us out. How much missile resistance do we have? Just 15. I'm just playing Chaos Music. Look at this over here. Get that bomb going. Yes, oh my god, the AI is so bad. Yeah, I get it. Yes. Alright. Yes. Legend, why do you say that? We totally don't say that in the comments. Actually, you, as, as if there isn't going to be a comment about how the AI is bad. Yes, the AI is bad. <laughs> we get it. Alright, looking good. Alright, we're running out of ammo. These guys are coming around this way. Right, so getting rid of quite a lot of the Marauder Horse Masters. They have done a fair bit of damage to us. Alright, they're out of ammo. I can actually regenerate their ammo with Malachi. I'm wondering if I can get more value out of the regular Gyrocopters. I'm just not sure right now. Okay, these ones here, try to take out the Marauder Horse Masters. They're, they're pretty good at it. Alright, look if they're... Alright, they're coming around this way. Okay, alright. Look, we almost used up all the ammo with the cannons anyway, and I was fully expecting to get fucked in this fight, so... I'm pretty happy with the results of what they've done so far. This is, this is just gonna be fucking horrible. We're not within range yet. Okay. Just don't want to lure. Oh, God. Yeah, we're about to get fucked. Okay, these ones over here, I need to go and get rid of the Chaos Warhounds. Okay, here we go. Let's use them. Just dish out as much damage as we possibly can here. really want to kill this guy here, but I just I think it's going to be difficult. Full volley. Just didn't do very much. Uh, Eckhold is friggin' healing. Cannons have done shitloads of damage. You come over here, get you a bit of a heal. Okay, need to get rid of the Seeker Chariots. That's really important. Really, really important. I keep focusing on that. And yeah, try to get back on the artillery again and just, just fire. Just fucking shoot. Do the best you can. As far as I'm concerned, you've done the best you can. Okay, you need to shoot at this guy here. I think that guy is more of a threat than Echo at the moment just because it, you'll be able to take out our flying units. Now, you might also be thinking, I could have put my heroes here and held the line. Possibly. I didn't expect them to be this stupid at this point. But, like I said, I was going to disband most of these units anyway. So, I'm fine with it getting rolled over like this. Okay. Alright, let's restore that one's ammo. Bring them a little bit closer. Give this one a control group with control group 3. Yeah, yeah, you need to keep focusing on this guy here. It's good that one's fine to the death. Take that one out. Because, yeah. 
We need Ulrika to be able to outrun some of their, well, all their units. And so anything that's particularly fast needs to be taken out. At least Eckhold, Hellbrass, and Harold Hammerstorm, they are slow. Same thing with the spawn of Slanesh. They're relatively... There's a slower than... Bring this one back in. Slower than Ulrika. Alright, now would be a good time, I think, to send Ulrika out over this way so they maybe get back across this way. Maybe. Taking a bit of damage with this one. Get into position, see if you can shoot. But yeah, at least we used up most of our ammunition with the cannons, so that is good. Move this way. Yeah, you, you're much better against the Seeker Chariots. Let these ones take out the Warhounds. They're going to start looking for us now. Plus, I've got these guys over here. Uh, are you able... No, you've got to wait a fair bit longer before we can do that. Get over here. You, go charging over there. If we lost the Spirit of Grogni, we would truly be fucked up. That would not be good for us at all. It's a good thing they rallied. Oh, there's that flying dipshit. I reckon Ulrika could beat him in melee. I'm not sure if these guys here should be shooting at him, because they're not great against single entities. And yeah, no, 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 no. no. Most of their fastest units are gone. Still got a few of our guys left. Okay. Like, obviously, we got our asses handed to us there, but at the same time, so did they. I think we traded well. The balance of power seems to be in our favor. It's playing our music. Yeah, that ability there, he can keep doing that over and over again. So, Echold Hellbrass is able to attack our flying units. Could we kill an enemy lord? Was that the main lord? Yes, it was. We're good. And we got someone chasing after us. Let's try to avoid it. Yeah. Okay, you. As long as that flying dude isn't targeting you, there's no one else over here that can get us apart from Echold. Quite good against chariots. Oh, it's out of ammo. Uh, Alright, you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'd, I'd send it back over here, but. Oh, are you kidding me? This guy here is gonna lure them over this way. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, that's just. Thanks, dude. Thanks for giving away our position. But most of their fast units are gone now, so I guess it's okay. Alright, that Seeker Chariot definitely needs to go. Alright, Rika coming around over this way. Running down broken units is actually really good for her because she can get some regen going with the hunger. The Spirit of Grogni is getting a lot of value for us, that is awesome. Got to keep in mind as well that Harold Hammerstorm is unbreakable. All right, you guys get over here. I need to go and deal with that shit coming in. I wonder how quickly they're going to rush over here. It might be in our best interest even to... Uh, to just, like, take these guys and run over this way, maybe. All right, I think I'll do... Right. Yeah, you, can, you can beat these for a second. Beat this for a second first. Yeah, maybe if Gotrick can go and fight that guy. He'll easily kick its ass. Let's just stand back for a bit. Because I could land this guy near here. And then, yeah, Gotcha could kill it super quick. Oh, fucking Eckhold. He's healed already. <laughs> well, he can't heal unlimited, and we do have practically unlimited ammo. And they have no real means to get us, apart from his ability, which you'd have to use it many times over. Once those guys leave the battlefield, they're going to be rushing over here, I think. Go. 
This guy here is nearly dead, so you can take him out before he gets some regen from Hel um, Eckhold. Oh, there we go. We army lost them. We won. Okay. We only lost units that I was fine with losing. Well, there we go. Oh, hang on. We still got to take out... Um, Take out uh, Harold Hammerstorm. Would have been great to kill this guy, but at least we've won the battle. That's the most important thing. Yeah, there's no way that they're going to be able to do anything to us now. No chance of it. Try to kill as many units off as we possibly can, so you don't have to fight them next turn. Sorry, so I don't have to fight them next turn. All right, speed this up. And maybe go and... Yeah, how about you give ammo to this one? Cool. And then that one will be good to take out the... Oh, this not going to spawn splinish anyway. Well, Rika, if you run that down, you'll be able to get small amounts of regen. Now we just got to finish off Harold. Good. Well, I think the map did us a lot of favors here, that's for sure. But yeah, a lot of our units are totally wrecked, but that's fine. I think. Well, at least Harold Hammerstorm is gone. Hmm, Heroic victory, how about that? Yeah, I imagine that... Well, that unit's definitely gone. They might survive, but the problem is we're going to take attrition as well. But like I said, I didn't really want them in the army anymore. I was going to replace them. I've got a plan. But pause the recording. No need. The load screen's done. <laughs> so much quicker. Okay. Oh, it's so useful. All right. Should we get replenishment? That'll help with our... No, you know what? We want more Oath Gold and money, because there's units I want to be instantly hiring. So let's let's grab this. I don't expect to get attacked again over the end turn. Looks like we wiped out an entire army. Did we? No. Okay. So yeah, this is totally winnable. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're totally homeless. Sorted out quite a few grudges. Yeah, don't you be assassinating my guys there. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so let's have a look here. Yeah, a bit of attrition. A bit. If we go into this stance, hey, we can still replenish even though we don't have any territory. How about that? And we got the blo bloody trade, so that's... I mean, he's not a one-man dim stack anyway. I guess it's better than nothing. All right. Now, let's have a look at our grudges. This is so annoying that you didn't have this going at all. Age of, yeah, he delayed the Age of Reckoning. I don't see the benefit in doing that. Whatever. So, we can confederate Grombrindle or Ungrim. We've... Let's have a look here. We st we need 1,200 and something grudges to settle. I don't think that's going to happen this turn, because we settled heaps of them with those armies but there's this one over here there's about 700 there it's still not going to be My enough it's me. For a glorious day. now another thing is if we go into here and have a look yeah he hasn't started this adventure so this way i mean we can get these units basically for free but i'm not going to be able to recruit them until i own territory but let's just start that adventure anyway Let me just check, actually. Yeah. Why not get the Thunder Barges? Yeah, could do that one, but uh, I'm actually preferring to go with um, these ones. Save the Thunder Barges for another time. Okay, so we I do want to go after this one here. We're going to be going up against nearly a full stack. Okay. Alright, well, let's let's go over there. Yeah, Water Resolve gives us a win. 
And we definitely want to start leveling up our heroes, so chuck him in. And these guys, chuck him in. Okay. Need to make room for these two. So, I'm going to get rid of this one first. And this one. No grudges, please, lads. An artillery train to speed us up. I had to be done. Those cannons, and then let's merge these let's three. The what? I had three cannons, and now I got two. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, whatever. Oh, manage. All. All right, let's have a look here. Bandolier. That's just ammunition for you. Anything else we could do to boost our army? Level 32. What else could be good here? Relentless could be good. Get the, get him out of combat. You could always just respec him. Actually, yeah, Malachi actually cannot be respec'd. Hmm, how about that? So I gotta be careful about what he probably wants. Honestly, speed, that's gonna be really handy for this kind of army. And if you don't like it, well, you're gonna lose the campaign anyway. Okay, then as for this, I mean, Gotrek can get everything. If you got Elf Slayer? You do? Good. No, no, sorry, you don't, and, but we can. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Okay, and then give him probably speed. would be good. And you. Got all that stuff. That's good. Get that. And how about some health? Yep, it's good. Ulrika. Yeah, let's go down her. Hang on. Could also be good to get. Actually, let's get both the increased mobility, because I'm not really relying on magic. In fact, I didn't rely on magic at all in the previous battle. Okay. Well, that's all we've got available here. And we just gotta fight it. No, I can actually auto that. Because I don't care about those two units. I'm gonna replace them anyway, so... How bad is the damage gonna be? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but we're going up against Malice, so... We're probably gonna take a lot of damage anyway. All right, we're gonna sack it, because I don't intend to actually hold it long term. That way I got us some Oath Gold, and then occupy. All right, now, if we recruit in this region, using the Spirit of Granny, good. I was worried that because we were in red territory, it was gonna take two turns to recruit the stuff, but it actually doesn't. Good, 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 good. You've got the gyrocopters there, awesome. Now, what about the free gyrocopters from over here? Let's see, higher adventure units. We've got brimstone guns and regular gyrocopters. You also had the organ guns readily available. We also have, yeah, the uh, the troll hammer one. Get that going. Awesome. awesome, awesome, awesome. That's such a good unit. Need to get more of those. All right, how are we going for grudges now? We are, oh, we're so friggin' close. We need 500 more. So, I don't know in a nearby vicinity where to get that. But that shouldn't take too long. Okay. Alright, let's have a look here. Now, I'm not a huge fan of brimstone guns. I'd much prefer regular gyrocopters, because they just got heaps more ammo. And if you want anti-large, that's what the troll hammer's for. Okay, now, as for these guys here, the first thing that we need to get to is... Uh, what is it? It's uh, bare essentials, that's it. That gives them stalk. Super bloody important. So... But Legend, what about more ammo? No, this one here, we need this. This basically gives us immortality on the battlefield with these three. And you, you'll go for replenishment. That's your purpose in the army for the time being. Okay, that's good. How are we going here? Don't worry about public order. I don't intend to hold this for very long. This is just a stopping point. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's grab that. Okay. So, we can recruit three units with Spirit of Grogny, and, like I said, yeah, I'm not going to get the Brimstone Guns. I will get the regular Gyrocopters. Okay. Only the toughest down. Yep. Then, I'm going to get rid of the cannon. Just tinkering with the setup. Okay, get rid of the cannon. And then I'm going to merge... A brimstone gun. Yep, I that way we can get three units of regular gyrocopters. But legend, it had experience. Trust me. Regular gyrocopters, they're my jam. Brimstone guns definitely have their purpose, but I just way prefer regular brimstone guns. Oh, sorry, regular legend gyrocopters. Here. Okay. Now, don't have tons of money, so let's be careful about what we get. 
D this thing here provides beer for us, right? So, let me just check. No trade partners. Can we get a Iron Warden tankard if we had enough? Yeah, we've got the beer. We just need the Oath Gold. But it may be important to get a... A item for Malachi McKayson so that he can actually stalk. But that being said as well, I've got two other characters here that kind of need stalk as well. What I could actually do is take Gotrick and Felix out of the army. Because I don't actually need them in this army anymore. They're off, actually better off elsewhere. Because they're not going to boost these units at all. And with these guys here stalking, most of the army is just... This, this army will be practically invincible out here. Okay, so... I think I will take them out of the army. And when I want to recruit some more regular gyrocopters. What else could we do here to boost your stuff a bit? Um, reduce attrition would definitely be good. Reduced upkeep cost by a little bit. We're not making tons of cash, so that would be pretty good. Just seeing what we've got available. Alright, there's two things that we can build. Let's go with that one for airship capacity recruitment, and then also this one here for... It'll give us five extra airship growth, so that'll be good for you. And also... Reduced attrition and a tiny bit of casualty replenishment rate, so that'll be good. Okay, who else has got level up? Malachi. All right. What? Going down the blue line here could also be really good to save us a bunch of money. Let's go with like pure beard could be good to get rid of corruption, but like I said, I'm going to stay here. It could be good to intercept. Anyone that's going to use the underway path. Maybe not in this particular situation right here, but later down the track for you. Okay. Alright, we'll see how we go over this end turn. I don't expect to get attacked. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, let's move on. Also, the army that we're building here is going to be way cheaper than what you had before anyway. Because the regular gyrocopters are dirt cheap. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, they're coming for me. <laughs> oh, don't tell me they're going to just besiege it. That would suck. Because we won't get any recruitment done. Please launch the attack. Alright, cool. Uh, okay, I'll just... Let me have a look here. Oh, they got another legendary hero. Oh, we got nowhere to hide. And we got nowhere to run. Oh, shit. And he's unbreakable. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll just, we'll just join you. Do what we can. Okay. All right. Yeah. If we if we want to keep this guy here in the army, then I'm gonna have to hide over here. Uh, we we'll need to get multiple prospectors' mails for them. But the problem is, he's not making much in the way of oath gold. So he's so close to getting an Iron Warden tankard. Yeah, you need to stay back over here. That being said, these ones, oh, they are my jam. Okay, I think we'll be fine, because they're we got rid of most of their fast unit in the previous battle, and it's more like these guys here can't fight. And if this guy here does die, well, I'll just recruit another one. It's not a, not a big deal. Try to keep him alive if we can. Alright. Right, let's come over here. Alright, this could be a decent opportunity to maybe knock out this guy with the troll hammer torpedoes. Uh, you guys stay over here, actually. Deal with the reinforcements as they're coming in. Yeah, like that guy there is obviously quite important, but. I really want this one to die. No, 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 no. Ah, you missed. Good stuff. Problem is that these are fresh recruits. They're not going to be particularly accurate, so maybe I'll need to get in a bit closer. Let's 
Really wasn't expecting them to counterattack again over this turn. But hey, that'll settle some grudges. Not a hell of a lot though. Even though they lost that battle, this guy gained freaking 10 levels up. Oh, sorry, ten, two levels up. Fuck, I can't count. All right. It's okay if these ones here get wiped out. Totally fine with that. Because we're going to replace it with regular gyrocopters. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. That one there might even break. And our dudes are faster than them, because now we're not on Force March, so that's obviously quite handy. Uh, they can see us. Yeah, probably a good idea to get rid of this one. Right, let's let's lure them over here. It's going pretty well over here. Looks like they want to get organized before they do their main assault. That works for me. Alright, we've also got this. Bring it in over here. Alright, let's drop you to the ground. Who cares? Hopefully our guys will shoot at him. And do some damage. Alright, we don't have to worry too much about the blue scribes doing much damage to us. It's not really good for this. Alright, where's Ulrika? Get her in there. She'll be able to beat this guy, no problem, I think. Have a go on here. Getting a bit of damage in. Cool. Ah, oh, damn it, destroyed one of my Jaro things. Alright, then send Gotrick and Felix over here. They'll provide some various buffs to help her out. Why not? If I must. Positioning. Take him down. Then again, we can just shoot him even while we're on the ground here. Yeah, make sure he dies. Make sure he dies. Where are they? Make sure he dies. Come on, shoot. Like fucking now, shoot him. Yes, okay, he's dead forever. D E D D dead. Oh my god, legend can't spell. Alright, cool. Back up with you. Back to killing monster units. Actually, single entities. Let's go for that instead. Alright, I think the worst of this battle is pretty much over now. Yeah, I love these units. It's a shame you can only get one every 15 units. Ah, sorry, 15 turns. I'd totally be in for, like, spending grudges, like, as a resource, to get more of a particular type of unit, rather than one every 15 turns, but... Yeah, these units are very powerful, so I, I can understand why you want to limit how often you get them. Good, another character dead. Okay, we've got problems coming in over this way. Need to focus more on... Get these guys out of the way. Yeah, escort that one off the battlefield. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Ulrika, come over this way, and we'll use some of your magic. Yeah, just escort them off the battlefield. Alright, need to move fast, because they are moving quick now. Good, seek your chariot, go on. Uh, it can be hard to hit him like this, but let's see if we can manage it. It's mostly just trash coming at us. Turn this off. 
try to slow them down where we can. So I can restore these guys here ammo with Malachi's ability, but fuck that, they got no units left. Let's hold them back. I'm pretty sure we got this. You run them off the battlefield. It'd be really good if we could take out Echol this time. Should be able to manage it. Just so he doesn't get any more bloody experience. Okay, there's the army losses. Let's see if we can get rid of Eckhold. How about you two get over there? You might just be able to cut him off. Maybe. I got a feeling he's gonna get away. Oh, hang on, hang on. If they shoot at him as well, we might just get him. Cut him off, cut him off. Go, go. Uh, Plus we get a lot more loot by killing him. Oh no, don't. Don't kill Gotrick. <laughs> no, okay, he is gonna get away. Yeah. He's gonna get away. Oh well, it is what it is. Another heroic victory for us. Cool. Alright, we will take the Oath Gold definitely. That'll give us the 500 we need if we want to get a Iron Warden Tankard, which very tempting to do. But not not the best item for this particular stack that we're building. I still can't believe you got an alliance with them. <laughs> All right, survived another turn. Okay, now we've actually got an Age of Reckoning going, and how much do you need to get? 4,600, which I think we've already obtained essentially this video so far, but we've cleared out loads of the bloody grudges now. So let's have a look here. We are, oh my god, we are less than a hundred grudges away from being able to confederate Thoric Ironbrow. There's a hundred grudges over here. And again, who cares about this settlement here? Okay. So they got some replenishment, that's good. And like I said, kind of want to take Gotrick and Felix out of this army. Just put them in a different army, just because they're just not really needed for this. What you want to do is be stalking. Not have your high-powered heroes in. But it's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. Same thing with Ulrika. She just doesn't need to be in here. And to be honest, I don't even need this guy here either, do I? Because we're probably not even going to take damage. <laughs> Isn't Arkay on his way as well? Mm. Alright, so getting to Black Rock. We've got Siege Attacker, so that's not going to be a problem. Also, we do have Airship Traversal. Can do that. There's a green skin faction over here. I don't think we need to worry about that one too much. Right, let's get some levels up going. Yeah, we're going to go down the blue line with him to reduce upkeep costs just because... Wait, hang on. Let me just check that again. Yeah, they reduce it a fair bit there. And there's also... I'm not sure. It's not going to help you against teleport stands. All right. Are we going for Winter Magic? Okay, yeah, take that. Not really relying very heavily on magic. Yep. 
Alright, now that we've got that one, get the requisition going. That's what we want to see. Yep. More ammunition for our guys. Awesome. Okay. So I'm leaning towards going around this way here. Kill this guy. 15 no. grudges. And then take Black Rock. I'll figure it by Grimley. It's I think we'll resolve be fine, yeah. And there's Echo, so. Got him. Finally. No Oath Gold with that. Decent amount of replenishment, but these are units I'm going to remove anyway. So take the take take this. Slayer by name, slayer by nature. All right, Black Rock next. They'll take that settlement. Okay, looks like we can auto resolve this. Should we auto resolve it? Yeah, we'll be fine. Bring those to <sighs> yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so occupy that. Okay. Okay. Cool. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Dread Quake destruction. Hey, uh, 360 missile block for gyrocopter units. Awesome. Missile block chance 25%. That is really good. Obviously, what you really want is the emergency repairs. That is very handy as well. Okay. I what? So we're gonna take out some heroes out of the army first. So let's take Felix out and Gotrek out. But they are good, absolutely. But this is this is not where they're gonna be. Okay, then we go to the Great Book of Grudges and go Thorak Ironbrow. You're mine. Okay, good. We've got Thorak Ironbrow all the way down here. I wonder what kind of problems that's gonna cause us. Oh yeah, look at our money. Oh, what is he doing? Mm. Oh, it looks like he was fighting them. Right, we're stronger than them. Doesn't look like as much of a disaster now. But our finances are terrible. Got a nice amount of oath gold from that, so that's good. Alright, let's have a look at this guy here. Ancient. Unfortunately, all the movements have been moved up. Oh! That's really good. We in, we got one. Let us begin. That is really good. And it was also good that we confederated them after we started this Age of Reckoning, because it's not going to increase the amount needed with the Age of Reckoning. All right, let's have a look at Karak Zorn here. All right, we should get rid of that here. I imagine that he so, will... the bothersome stone gatherers come from their mountain. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. It's unlikely he's going to attack us. Because, yeah, there's a landmark here that would be really handy for you. Really, really good. We should get that. Lost Plateau doesn't need this by the look of it. That's fine. That can stay there. That's probably not going to make use of that. Get rid of it. Mount Arachnos. I mean, we've got no enemies over here at the moment. Also, with these ones here, what we should... Oh, my God. We really need money. We should be building these ones here. You'll make less money, but the Oath Gold passive is really bloody good. That's another thing we need to build here. So which of these buildings do we not need? A flying army can be fairly good against this as long as they're not bringing Pterodon Riders to the fight. Seeing if we could get them to join a war against anyone, they might be more willing to accept a non-aggression pact because they're currently not in any wars. Hmm, don't, don't want to accept it. Uh, I could probably sell them. A I could probably sell them Rosetra, and we can probably justify getting rid of this army. What's this? Well, that's nice to inherit a knight um, like that. That's good for sure. All right, this guy here is hardy. We'll keep you, but not in the Moving. army. What? And we'll get rid of this entire army because we're going to save Ready. some money. We've got no enemies over here at the moment. Oh, man, look at all this stuff we got. Nice. Okay. And see you later. Cool. That's good. All right. See if we can swap it for maybe Granite Massive. 
Or maybe maybe we should sell Mahrak as well. Sell these two settlements. Now he said he had seven regions. That's one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, right over here. Six. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, don't sell Rosetra. See if we can swap something for Doomglade. So looking at Mahrak. See if we can consolidate the problem. Alright, if we go Mahrak for what was it again? Doomglade. I don't think they'll accept it, but yeah, I didn't think so. Let me see if they'll accept anything for that. Yeah, that's obviously not a good deal. Mm. Alright, let's see if there's anything that they're they're willing to part ways with that one, maybe. So if I go to Mahrak. thing is, with them, no enemies on their border, they're actually fairly likely to declare war on us over the end turn, because they've just got no one else to attack, I think. So we really need to get this deal done now. So, I also want to try to keep our consolidated provinces, so Maharak would be a good one to give up. There's no reason why we have to keep this army either. Let's have a look at this guy here. Some nice items here. Looks like was Thorek wounded. Time for a reckoning. No, he's right. He's right here. I'm right in front of me. Yeah, don't disband his army. All right. So how are we going to do this? Selling a Mahrak. All right. Let's do that. So Mahrak for. I get a defensive alliance with them. Hmm. Get a defensive alliance, a trade agreement, and military access. That way it's not going to piss them off. Actually, don't worry about the military access, because that's going to come with the defensive alliance. And we can get a whole bunch of money out of it. All for that piece of shit settlement. No problem. Done deal. All right. Bit of diplomacy sorts us out pretty well here. All right. I answer to clan and hold. Money's still a bit of a problem. But at least, at least these guys are not going to be an issue for you. And we could maybe loot that cash if we need it. Uh, okay, yeah, what we should do is... Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I really, really, really want to get the Oath Gold going for you. It's so what? good. Alright, I don't want to disband this army. D this unit. Because it's so good. I mean, the, these other units are good as well, but that one especially. Uh, we don't need this long drawn slayer. We'll get rid of that regiment for now. If you're gonna have uh, Thorak Ironbrow, he works really well with his like basic quarrelers. So if we were gonna do that, we could probably bring him back over here and just get some basic quarrelers, recruit that from from Azetra, and just replace all this Always other shit in his army. Ironbreakers, yeah. Look, he doesn't need it right now. No one's attacking us. So let's get rid of. Everything except for that and yep that. Okay, transfer this one over here. This one, yeah, that's fine. We'll stay there. All right, and then uh, I just don't know what to do with that one. Get rid of all of. Just get rid of these two. I don't want to get rid of all the grudge settlers because they're useful units. At least we're in the green now, so that's good. All right. So. Maybe get rid of this one just because there's good resources in the area. And while growth is important, you, you get pretty good growth anyway. All right. Another building over here needs to be destroyed. So let's go with... I mean, that, all of this is good buildings, but what are we most likely going to make use of? Because, yeah, you definitely want more engineers. Let's, let's get rid of this one here. Just because you should prioritize the money building first. Probably don't need this one now. Okay. And then I'll reorganize those guys later because we'll probably end up having to fight Manfred. But at least we've got a defensive alliance here, so that's good. That is really going to help us out. Okay, back to Malachite. Let's have a look here. What we could do, actually... Actually... We're going to lose the bright Blighted Grove. i got an idea. If I sell Black Rock and then lose the Blighted Grove... I could then respec these two characters, and they will go straight over to here in three turns. Because that'll be the closest settlements. As long as I don't own anything out here, that is. Fate provides the plot. But what we could do is start migrating 
back out this way. Same thing with this guy here. Well, I guess I, I guess I don't really need it. I've got one in the other spot. And... Eh, just to keep him. This is a good trait. Um, okay. So... We'll get to that. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Get back in there. Dragon slay, lads. You come out, and you can go into this stance here. Then, Ulrika isn't needed either. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, take Ulrika out. I will refrain for now. Uh, Patience oh, to do it. is a must. Wait, I don't even need to take her out. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna do this. I just need to respec her right now. Yeah, just do it right now. Yep. Just bye bye. Okay. Same thing with this I one. Off you disagree. go. You'll be going back to the other guys down there. Because they'll only show up here if we own a settlement in this area. We don't have to respect them before we've lost the settlements. Alright, then as for Black Rock, we've got to get rid of this. I can either abandon it or I can sell it. So let's just see what we can do with that. So these guys here, if we got a peace treaty, if I gave them the... Nope, can't do anything with that. I expect that they'll, they'll attack that. That's fine. Then over here... My blood Maybe we could give them Black fire. Rock, and they don't want to. Okay, well then, nobody gets it. No, wait, what about Demon Prince? You, when this world burns. Alright, just abandon it. Abandon both. Okay. Because, yeah, we'll just act as a horde and start moving him down south. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now, we've got three unit capacity to recruit from. Oh, uh, actually, I can do another one. So... Do we want this guy here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, if we're gonna do that, we need... Okay, get rid of this guy. That's actually a liability now. Just respect him. He'll head back over there with the others. Okay, I need to get a prospector's mail. Really, really important. So that's an armor piece. Prospector's mail, grab that. That's it. Really important. But now you can't get iron water tank head. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I know, it's fine. So grab the... Where is it? Where is it? Under armor. There it is. Okay, so that gives him stalk. It'll just make it really difficult for them to catch him. Cool, we got some of those as well. And we can give you the Talisman of Preservation. She doesn't need it for the time being. Well, and they've all got stalk like as well. So it gets that. And that. The past is the Good. Past. Good. Get some... Extra campaign movement range. Alright, and then with him, yep, let's get that going. Alright. And there you go, recruit four gyrocopters. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, now the army is going to be a lot more competent. Alright, we got a little bit of money. We could build this, reduce our upkeep costs slightly. Did you see that, lads? Yeah, uh, maybe wait. No, no, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. They might attack. Uh, I think I was going to attack us at the end turn. Okay, that's fine. All right. <laughs> Come on, make it mine. All right, technology. What did you research? What do we need? Do you want the Vallejo's protection? There's some really good stuff in the back here. Like, that one there is really good for growth. But obviously, you got to research a fair few of these. So maybe grab Scrutinize Guild Leaders. Because that one's also a really good one there. Ambush Defense Chance. Just in case you ever go up against Skaven. That is very good. How are you going with clan stuff? You've done a couple. I do think the guild stuff is more important. Okay. Also, how are you going for, like, students? Uh, oh, there's one. Yep, okay. Did that knock off a turn? I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention. Actually, I can easily find out. All I have to just do is take it off. And... Yeah, it did. It actually knocked a turn off that research. So that's good. Right, put that back on. There we go. Good. Okay. Don't have much money there. Can't sell off any of these regions, but just abandon them as we make our way back to Crackerdrac, basically. Because <laughs> what are you doing out here? Okay. Then over here, let's go with... You probably want money. Or do we want growth? Actually, go with reduced construction costs. That makes more sense right now. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that all seems pretty good. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Now, we definitely want to keep him in that general area, I think, for the... Ooh, bloody lucky he didn't use teleport stance on us. 
really bloody lucky there. Maybe he doesn't have it. Okay, can we beat this? I think we can, because these guys here will stalk. It's not going to be worth many grudges, but it's going to be worth a lot of money and experience. And this one here should be a take him out. How quick is he? 86. Yeah, we'll easily be able to outrun him. No problem. We should also get a um, the banner of swiftness on this one here, but I, I forgot to do that. Let's get in and fight this. Because, yeah, if he had teleported onto us, I think we probably would lose. <laughs> because the being in stalk would not, would not help us much. They'd detect us straight away. Good, they're all stalking. Just put them in the opposite direction of them. Because that's actually a liability, staying near them. Alright, control group 1, control group 2, and control group 3. Cool. And might as well control group 4. Cool. Alright. Alright, first thing we want to do, take out the fucking demon prince. With missiles. How's he going for physical resistance? Okay, he's got a bit. And of course, we've got the Spirit of Grogni, so that's going to do shitloads of damage. Yeah, these ones over here, do not fire at will, just run over that way. This is why you also want to put lots of movement speed on them. So, Iron Warden Tankard, obviously great for healing, but you know what's even better for healing? Not taking any damage at all. Nice, yeah, that's going really nicely there. And as long as we skirmish with him effectively, he just can't hit our troops at all. And so that's basically how this army works, especially really good in the Chaos Wastes here. Your four heroes here basically can't be detected by the enemy. And then these guys here take out all the dangerous units, and then you just free reign to shoot like crazy. It's absolutely invincible out this way. So powerful. But like I said, don't really want the brimstone guns I'll be replacing that. Ooh, he's caught up. Oh, I was using like a speed thing. I guess he's just got a lot of charge speed. I could do a little bit more damage to him. We'll get him wounded, that'll drop his speed down. Now, we don't want the Spirit of Grogni being near the Demon Prince, because... I just didn't quite make it there. Uh, the Demon Prince will take it out. Too slow, loser. Well, he took out another gyrocopter, but off he goes. Good stuff. Alright, we've got this. There is just nothing to worry about here. Good. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all about them. I mean, that settlement's going to be abandoned anyway, so who cares? pretty funny how in this game, if you know what you're doing, you can be one turn away from defeat, and then two or three turns later, literally be in like a fucking fantastic position, if you know what you're doing. Oh, legend, using diplomacy is a cheese. Don't you know you're supposed to not use the game's mechanics? <laughs> Alright, there we go. There are goners. So yeah, definitely equip these guys with Iron Warden Tankers if you want, but not needed if they don't take damage. Cool. Alright, let's take that Oath Gold and Money. Yeah, you don't worry about the replenishment. We'll be fine. Hopefully Sigvald is making his way back around over here, because we want to settle those grudges.
They're just getting the hell out of there. Yeah, they see Malachi now as a massive threat. Yeah, that's it, Sigvald. You come over here, bitch. I'm gonna settle those grudges. You ready to cancel? What? <laughs> he must have given them a lot of territory. This, it, it could be fabricated. It could be. I, I'm really not sure. I'm gonna have to look into the records on this stuff. Because, like, why'd you give them settlements? I don't want... To... <sighs> Go to hell. <laughs> it's, it's just... I don't need your stinking baubles, you piece of crap, Norskin. I'd cancel the treaties, but there's a cooldown on it. It looks like I only just established them. Alright. I thought they'd attack the Blooded Grove, but they didn't. Um, we kind of need the money. Thirty. It's not that big of a deal. Good. Extra relations with Kislev will be handy, I guess. Maybe if they're still even alive, which they are, and you've met them. So why aren't they happy with us? It's just strategic threat. That's all. Okay. All right. So why can't we get a trade agreement? Because reasons, distance, whatever. No big deal. Because, yeah, I think if we do diplomacy with Kislev, we can further along this one a bit. If we have a look here. So this one here. Fight a convoy army. Fight three battles in Wasteland Climate. Battle against Chorfs. And form a trade agreement with the Kislev or Cathay faction. The Oath Gold, they'd be really good as well. Malachi, Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Two of them. Two of them together. See, I was going to just ban these units because I thought that Sigvald wouldn't stand and fight. But if they're... Oh. No, I don't need to because this one's in Force March. They don't get a choice. Yeah. I'm not sure if we'll land, though, because it's blocking the way. Maybe we will. No grudges there. All right, so with no territory here, if we have a look at them, they'll be back in two turns. So we don't occupy anything for two turns, we should be fine. All right. All right, all right, all right. So let's hit this one. I think this will work. Ah, damn it. I have to land it over here. Get going. Let's give this. But legend, it says fairly in defeat. Be fine. As long as they don't detect us, it'll be fine. If they detect us, we're screwed. Alright, so these guys, this is actually a really good map for us. It's, it's quite large. They're just going to have such a hard time finding us. we got shitloads of ammo. Probably could have leveled up my guys a bit. I think we had a level up to do, but I, I think we've got more than enough. Because I think as well, we've got... What the fuck was... Oh, they got they got a hell cannon. Ah, shit. Maybe we should do something about that. Move it out. Might be a good idea. Uh, what was I saying? Move. Got distracted by this rude fucking hell cannon, which we can take out super easily, but I just... Got surprised. Yeah, I um, uh, forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, we can re restock. That's what I was going to say, if we need to. Aim for the hell cannon itself. Alright, hell cannon down. Alright, go for this guy. Level 15. Nice, good to kill him. Alright. Oh, I may have got some friendly fire there. Get in a little bit closer, because there's now nothing they can do to get us. Alright, them. Just be very careful that they don't find us. Because <laughs> that would suck. Yep. Good. All good. Loads of ammo. Not a problem. What are they doing? Okay. Also, we're the attacker, so maybe... Maybe there was... I don't know. The same. Is he a demon? No. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just use this. Oh, then... No, hang on, hang on, hang on. They've got, um... They've got units we need to get rid of first. Alright, just use the Spirit of Grogni to sort out Sigvold's army. 
while we go sort out the other one. Alright, against Chaos Furies, it's better to use regular gyrocopters. Another reason that I really like the regular gyrocopters over... Ooh, yeah, make sure this guy here dies. Over the other ones is because they can fire while moving. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I don't really care if these ones get wiped out, but I, yeah, I prefer they Good, that one's dead. Alright, that guy's speed is 94. That's actually pretty quick. Yeah, don't destroy my troll hammer torpedoes. These Chaos Furies can dish out loads of damage really quickly. We need to increase the speed of our gyrocopters. Alright, at least they're coming over here, so that's good. They're not looking for our other dude. Yeah, you guys sacrifice yourself. I need the troll hammer torpedoes. I don't need you. Get out of there. Okay, Troll and a Torpedo, you need to take out this Manticore here, because it's inflicting a few kills, and you'd be good at taking it out. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing there, you guys. Maybe if we could run up through here, I'm not sure if they'll actually check that area. Huh? What the? Did it actually get destroyed? By what? <laughs> well, good thing I have enough ammunition that I wasn't relying on it, but at the same time, what the fuck? Is it because we're out in the water? I'm not actually sure. Just don't destroy my troll hammers. Where'd the manticore dude go? Oh, he's in the mics then. Just had to get rid of the Chaos Furies that piss me off. If you charge into them with your gyrocopters, with a whole bunch of them, you can kill them actually really quickly. Because they can be very difficult to shoot at. Okay, there we go. This is what we want to see. Uh, I might get a little bit of friendly fire if we're not careful. Them using Spirit Leech on us is not a big deal. It's that dude that's doing it. Nothing can stop us. Down. Oh, that's so good when just chunks away so much of their health. But yeah, that charge as they come in. Ah, hurts. All right, I'm gonna lure it over here so that those guys can shoot it to death because. Probably shouldn't risk it. I mean, we are technically faster than it. One more volley should kill it. I just got to get enough distance away. Because, yeah, they reload while moving. They just don't shoot while moving. That guy should be getting wounds now. So, even slower. And, yeah, make sure he dies. Although, he is on Force March, so he's dead anyway. As long as we win. Which looks likely at this point. Because all their most dangerous units appear to be gone. Okay, you guys can move here. Looks like you're safe. Just making sure he doesn't come back, basically. It's good, it's already got loads of experience. Good. That one's not coming back. Alright, we could drop some bombs as well. I usually don't rely on it very much, just because we've got plenty of ammo, and they can't really do much to us. Alright, we need to get rid of that Death Wizard. No, actually, you guys go this way. We need to get rid of the Death Wizard. I need to get rid of this one here, because that's what could catch us. 
Yeah, get rid of the Death Wizard because it keeps casting Spirit Leech on us. Definitely looking for these guys, but that's the beauty of Stalk. You can just keep moving. Chaos War Shrines are pretty tanky. This one here, it's a, right on our heels. I need to get rid of that one. I kind of feel like sometimes the AI does actually know where you are. They're just sort of programmed to pretend like they don't know. Because, like, look at that. It's following the exact path I've taken. Hmm, sort of. Hard to say sometimes. Alright, doesn't seem like there's that much left to deal with. There we go. Bounce power's in our favor. Looking good. Okay, definitely would be good to wound Sigvold, because otherwise he'll just run off the battlefield. The regular Gyrocopters, I don't think they're amazing against him. Let me just check. Oh, actually, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'll keep that. Keep that going. Yeah, make sure you wound him. Good. That way, no experience for him, because he's not on force much. What's going on over here? Did they detect us somehow? Because, yeah, there was a broken unit that went out that way. Most of their fast units are gone, but... If we have to withdraw these guys from the battlefield, we're not going to have long... Oh, shit. I think we're right near the end of the battle, though. Okay, you quickly get over here. I need to take out these Seeker Chariots. Plus, picking up some extra ammunition could go a long way here. See, this is where I'm glad to have the regular gyrocopters over the Brimstone Gun, so I can fire while moving. I think they got a rough idea of where we are. But I also think that their army losses is very close. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's just one army losses. We haven't done all of them, because both we got two different factions here. Oh shit, hang on. Yeah, they, they like know where we are. So it's not completely foolproof. But it buys you enough time to win the battle at least. Still detected us. Oh, I see what happened. I shot at them. Gave away my position. Ooh, that was close call. Okay, we could get replenishment. I don't know if we're going to get replenishment out in the water. I doubt it. It's not that much earth gold there, so I'll take the replenishment. That other army should be wiped out in Sigvold's. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're getting replenishment out in the water. That's fine. We've sorted out a lot of grudges. That's good. Real good. Ah, that's a good trait for us as well, I guess. Okay. What are you doing going force march? Actually, I think we... Yeah, okay. We've just got to make our way down here as quickly as possible. Yeah, maybe. Don't forget, Archeon is somewhere around here. But even if he attacks us, we'll be fine, I think. All right. So, speed for all missile units. That's really good. Okay, Flash Bomb is also really handy. If they ever catch us, you can use that to sort of slow them down. 
And then this guy here, just the last one, put in the mobility. And that way, it, that's the one that's being triggered. And, yeah. Okay, so our speed went from 105 to 125. Cool. Adding an extra 20 speed is going to make a big difference, especially when dealing with those things like Chaos Furies. All right. Then here, you did go with... Yep. Okay, awesome. Well done. Okay, so then let's go... Run and do that. Go that way. Cool, cool, cool. Better too late. Pretty good. All right, that army is looking pretty good. Won't be able to recruit anything this turn, but it's looking pretty good. All right, looking back over here, where everything is nice and comfortable. I need to get Thorak over here, but he can't make it there this turn and recruit. Okay, here's what we want to do. You jump over to here, and then Thorak force marches to here. Take those with you, and then move over to here. And that way we can tell this guy to go. To clan. Oh, yes. skills, At the end of the day, we're in no rush to get this army up and running. But yeah, you've got one of each hero in there now, so that's good. Okay, then over here, let's get the gemstones. Gemstones, yep. And, yep. Definitely want to start getting passive income of Oath Gold. And what was the other thing that we need? Oh, that's right, the landmark. Good. Yep, that's good. All right, our income. Oh, okay, we've got enough in the treasury now that we can justify demolishing these. Unfortunately, you can't just convert them. But yeah, highly recommend Oath Gold over the money because the amount of money that you get from this, sure, it reduces construction costs. I just don't think that's that big of a deal over the Oath Gold considering how good Oath Gold actually is. And then this one over here gets that. Could put the Earth Gold building there. But what I'm just going to do is recruit a few units into there and then demolish that building and rebuild it elsewhere. In fact, the barracks should be really over here. <laughs> it could have moved into this way. Well, I wouldn't be able to get them. I can always just jump back over. Um, and then at the Lost Plateau, we need... Let's see. So that would be good for extra hero capacity and a bit of extra research. That would be good for... Lo yeah, yeah, go with local recruitment capacity there. That works for me. Cool. Oh, hopefully we'll work for him as well. It's not all about me. All right, so we have sorted out 1,400 grudges. Well on our way to Nolan Grom with 14 turns to spare. As for these the guys here... Gold from you, Dowie, yeah. Before. Yeah. I think we had a trade agreement, and it actually got cancelled when we lost all of our regions. Yeah. Okay, here we go. But yeah, when you do a confederation, it, it can be really good to sell off one of your regions to a neighbor to get a, like a defensive alliance with them. Otherwise, they have a very high incentive to just like declare war on you while you're quite unstable. And at the end of the day, us selling that one region, that region wasn't worth anything. And having stability on this border is, is well worth it, because this is a very powerful enemy. And they also now haven't got an accumulated grudges, so they're not, they're not worth fighting. When it comes to the dwarves, you really should be prioritizing the enemies that have really accumulated loads of grudges. Sort them out first. So yeah, got you out of the Chaos Wastes. Now we're going to get you back to Krakadrak. Because with the army that you've got there, you should be able to deal with wave after wave of Chaos and just get your financial base from the, from the south to Oi. finance what you need to be doing out here. Now, if I take a settlement this turn... Gotrick and Felix and stuff, they're all going to show up here, so I can't occupy this. It's not worth it anyway. Um, but I can blow it up. Or we could set sail further down here. The thing is, if I go on the land, we can go into encamp stance and continue to adjust our army. There is a possibility that Archeon is in the area. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Actually, I want to go this way if possible. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh God. Look at those grudges! Come at me, bro. That guy's not gonna come at me. Just watch me. Blow it up. Fuck you, man. Okay. And then oh, go into I... encamp stance there. Cool. Let's get rid of the last two brimstone guns. I need to make room and then get. 
in the spirit of Grogni. That is the last adjustments that we need to make for this army. But what I would do Slayer. over time is replace two of these with basically get three Trollhammer ah, torpedoes. I don't think you need any more than that. But there, if you want that to be a super good doom stack, this this will work in most situations, especially out here against chaos related forces. Not great against Dark Elves though. All right, so we were trying to go down this way here. You could get lightning strike. I don't think you really need it. Replenishment rate, you also don't really need that. Ambush defense chance. Eh, I'll give you lightning strike. I feel like you might need it in your campaign. <laughs> okay, and then Thoric is... I mean, his finances aren't fantastic, but I did just demolish a whole bunch of buildings. So go with this. Yeah, you really want that stuff. Super good. Upgrade that. It's fine. Over here. Yeah, this will start getting your passive income of Oath Gold coming in really nicely. Good. Good, good, good. Get that going. Very good. What's up? I guess we don't really... Hang on, let's think here. Really need to recruit right this very second. Could just jump him over here and just, with what we've got, go and sit at Karag Zorn. I mean, I thought Manfred was going to declare war, but I guess not. Oh, do you know who might declare war? Fucking Skaven. And they've probably got a lot of grudges as well. Let me just check Clan Moors. Uh, they're not stronger than us. And if we have a look at the green skins there, which one's more of a threat? Uh, green, green. Okay, Bloody Hands, huge threat. They're probably going to declare war on us. We should go and sort that out. Alright, so, jumpity jump over here. It'll still be two turns before we can recruit anything, but by doing that, we can then get rid of this. Unfortunately, a bit of a kerfuffle, but at the same time, the building's not ready yet. I know there was a military building here that I demolished. Doesn't matter. Take the tier three settlements out of the major settlements, and it's good that they're coming in to defend that. All right, looking good. Don't think we need to do anything else. We could build something in here, but we're actually quite, sh quite short on Enough cash. Short. Just leave it be. Let's just move on. Because, yeah, we're actually in the negative there. At least if the Greenskins declare war on us, They'll also drag in the last defenders, so they'll come to defend us, I guess. Because they don't have any other wars going on. Although they probably are meeting Zinch, and they'll declare war on the last defenders, and they're by extension you. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! What the Jeopardies! No! They, re they, took our they took my movement. Okay, so those heroes should have made their way down here. Yep, there they are. Cool, cool, cool. Ulrika Magdava. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, this guy here is going to get away. What? Never. Took away my movement. It's probably because we landed last turn. Look, my dick mm. will find me one day. Until then, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Right. Yeah, the heroes aren't the problem. It's Malachi's Stay movement's up. been robbed. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Time for a pint. Unless we go into ambush stance right. and they don't move, up, you lot. there's always a possibility they won't move. What are you doing? Well, you're at war with them. Glory and gold from you, before. Which do you offer? Thing is, he's he's gonna run away. No, I need to wait one more time before we cancel that military alliance. My grip, hmm. it's me. Take a tiny little bit of attrition. That can be much, but yeah, if we stay stay here. As long as he doesn't go out no. by sea. If he goes this way, we should be able to catch him. If he goes this way, we should be able to catch him. Because, yeah, that's a lot of grudges that need to be settled. That's really good. We can also totally justify taking the settlement for ourselves now. Now that we don't need to worry about Gotrick and Felix. I did want to get him back to Cracker Track, but this video is getting quite long. And it's kind of not really a disaster anymore. Okay. 
Well, now, look at that. 186 passive income of Oath Gold per turn. You have plenty of Iron Warden tankers. One every couple of turns for you now. And more incoming. But, how do we figure this out here? Hmm. Because, yeah, if we get closer, then there's a higher chance of them getting pulled out. So weird that you might actually end up in a situation where you can borrow an army from Norska. That is so weird. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's move on. Because, yeah, I don't have the movement to do anything. Okay, good idea. Good idea. This might work. It probably won't, but it might work. But it probably won't. Yeah, it probably won't, but it might work. The best boots are that we made, of course. Steam carriages okay. Then we recruit a lord. Summon me if you dare. As the Viking commands. Then can we recruit another one? I can't. No. Yes. I was hoping to use this lord to occupy that settlement so that Malachi Explosive could come around over here and attack that. Because, yeah, if I was to land out here now... So there's no way. If I was to land there, they would probably not stand and fight. However... Oh, okay, yeah, this is going to be slippery. Good idea. Let's get to it. Take this back. I'm going to recruit another lord, because I can do it from here. I'm going to get a nobody. Level 2 nobody. Put what him out in the water, as... Oh, they're going to get attacked by them first. Oh, damn it! <laughs> damn it. That's not going to work. Alright, just leave that as it is. Alright. Yeah, sometimes hunting down these guys, they just try to avoid you at all costs. And that can be super irritating. Where is that? Oh, there's a little assigned. Cool. Alright, that's fine. Because, yeah, so many grudges, I'd fill that nearly full. And as for these heroes here, I think we should just leave them just in case you get attacked from the Skaven. And is this ready to go? It is. But our finances... Just, just chill for now. Just make our way down. Don't need to pump up our armies just yet. Best that we continue building, if possible. So now we've got 270 Oath Gold per turn coming in. I don't think there's any point in developing this because it's going to be such a liability. But yeah, trying to get this one here has wasted a fair bit of our time. Alright, we managed to get that one. That's good. Get the Valeus Protection. That's going to be really handy for you. Oaths of Loyalty. That's very good. That's really good. And that amount of Oath Gold is actually not that big of a deal, so let's get that one first. I'm glad I wasn't the one that suggested it. Okay. And... Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say this guy's just going to force march in that direction. And as for Wolfric... I'm taking glory and go from... Get the hell out of here, Wolfric, you bitch. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. What's this? Okay, that's fine. Let's move on. A friendly face is always welcome. More money, please. All kissed. Alright, let's start making our way over to Krakadrak, see if we can manage to take it. I wouldn't mind encountering Archeon with this. Let's see what he's doing. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought he was going to do. A lot of grudges. Can't do anything about it. Trying to chase after him is going to be point. Oh, we might be able to actually sail over there from that distance. Maybe. He's also trying to run away from, from them. I can reach it. It's a lot of grudges. But it's the opposite direction we need to be going. However... That many grudges. It's pretty good. 
It's a pretty easy army to beat. I'm not going to get that much going down this way. Go for it. Probably be able to. Uh, that's one problem with this army. Kind of difficult to auto-resolve with this one. So I'll fight this battle manually. I'll pause the recording because this is going to be super easy. It's not going to be a problem. So as you can see, super easy fight. Not a problem at all. Uh, we'll take the... And that should really sort out the grudges stuff there. So that's great. And... Where are we going? Alright, we'll go back to the Monolith of Flesh. Hopefully it doesn't get captured. And make our way down this way. I really kind of want to... Ooh. And we're getting a few items as well. Good. Were they... Look like they were assigned. Let me just check. Yeah, a whole bunch of students. That's great. That's going to help your research rate significantly. Just checking to see if we got archivists, which I don't think we did. All right, and these guys here. I need to start putting all of them on increase mobility. Because I noticed that over the end turn, it would switch to this guy's. So we're actually not getting as much mobility. Okay, then over here, our income's improved. But yeah, just want to come over here, just in case we get declared war. And this seems like the most likely location. And these guys here, if anyone declares war on you, just recruit a lord, shove them in there. Gives you quite a few extra defenders straight away. And what we want to do, before we start recruiting anything, just boost our economy. Yep. Okay, so... Look at that, we got heaps of both gold over that turn. Nearly paid for this just on its own. Then, yeah, you definitely want that ambush success chance. Yeah, some really good technologies here. So how many more grudges do we need to settle for this? Another 1,600. Which, along the line here, that shouldn't be too bad. And as for legendary lords, I mean, Grombrindle and Ungram Iron Fist aren't going anywhere. So you should probably consider doing them last. It just depends on how you want to go about it. We're getting... Uh, this is still ages away. <laughs> it's still ages. Okay, whatever. All right. Yeah, just leave them be. Oh, actually, what we should do with Felix, he's got some global bonuses. Make sure we pop this stuff down for the extra relations with people. And... Dragon Slayer. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the rest of them. Okay, so... So, so let me have a look here. Kislev. Let's see if we can get some more treaties going. Ropsman Clan. I'm surprised they're still even alive. Weird campaign, this one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And then I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, let's move on. Did you see that, lads? He's coming back for another round of getting smashed in the face. So what I'm trying to do here now is rather than being super aggressive on all frontiers and getting him into a situation that he might not be able to handle, making sure that I end this with a decent economy, with a good amount of oath gold, with armies that are in good positions. Ooh, okay, here's Archeon with loads of... Okay, all right. Will he likely attack us? Maybe, because he has an auto-resolve bonus. Yeah, it doesn't matter if this revolts at all. Alright. Ah! Uh, you cannot deceive uh, the deceit. I might have been able to attack that, but I, I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, he will, yeah, he will attack us. Alright, that is honestly super easy, and this here is, it's, it's honestly really, really easy. As long as they are hidden, that is the most important thing. If they get fucking detected, we are fucked. Okay. That's fine. Well, let's see how this goes. Big disaster incoming. There's been a few surprises in this campaign. Okay, yeah, just keep Thoric there. Just don't want to disband units that... You know, can't really replace so easily. Alright, and over here, Lamia, yep, keep building up the economy. 
looks good. Let's see if we can get anything more going. Alright, looking good. Yeah, look at that. 374 per turn. Maybe what we should do is get two Iron Warden tankards. Not wrong one. Oh no, what the beer? But I've got beer. Slayer. The fuck, I've got beer. Why the hell don't we have beer? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm, that's weird. All right, well, this has got it. Okay, just get that. It's weird, I got the beer building. Maybe it's because we didn't start the turn in, in friendly territory. Maybe that's it. Just let it revolt, it's fine. Huh, it didn't actually cause a revolt. That's interesting. Alright, here he comes. Yeah, as if he's not going to declare uh, attack yet. There we go. Oh, that's so many grudges! Cool. Legend, you forgot about the Banner of Swiftness. We don't really need it for this situation. They barely have anything that can deal with us. Alright, and let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, we actually don't want to hide in the forest because the AI will look for us in the forest. We're going to hide over this way. Legend, you forgot the banner. Oh no, a melee attack banner. A melee damage banner. What am I going to do without that in this battle? In fact, I should really take that off him and give it to Thorak. Okay, I think top priority should be to get rid of Archeon immediately. It'd be really great if we had more of these guys here, because they take him out pretty quick. Oh, actually, top priority should be the Hell Cannon first. Because, yeah, otherwise he's going to Spirit Leech the shit out of us. You motherfucker! I need that unit. Like, a lot. Cool, let's go on. And then Archeon. Now, these guys here... Alright, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, actually, they're, they're absolutely wrecking him. Oh, damn. Is he a demon? No. Legend, how do you deal with Archeon playing as dwarves? Like this. No, 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 but without cheese. Alright, well, um, cool. <laughs> cool. Well, let's just kill the rest of his army now. Uh, although... Okay, maybe we should consider getting rid of all their faster units, just in case. Like I said, they'll probably search this area here first, but I'm just not sure. Is that Ograx? Yeah. Okay, I think we're taking a little bit of friendly fire from our own units a little bit, because they can... Happens. Right, you come over here, bomb them as they come in. And yeah, let's just go ham on these guys. Shouldn't be a problem as long as they don't end up over here, which that actually could end up happening. Quite a lot of heroes. If anyone's going to kill them really quickly, it will be the heroes, so we should really endeavor to get rid of them very quick. Uh, there's also Marauder Horseman over here we should get rid of. Get rid of Ograx if you wouldn't mind. Alright. Not sure where they're thinking of advancing.
doesn't look like they're considering advancing at all, because they, they have no targets that they can hit. That's it over here. Man, this will sort out your Nolan Grom, that's for sure. So that's good. And you'll have 10 turns to spare. Kind of wish you could press a button and say, I'm done. And so it just ends the, the uh, Age of Reckoning early. Because otherwise, in this situation here, where you've just finished, it's just all these grudges go to, for the most part, go to waste. And grudges are so useful now. Very good. Uh, where do you think you're going? I'd rather you die now. Also, if they go over there and detect us. I know they can't detect us while they're shattered. So it's still... Just to be careful. Trying to blob up our guys too much, because I find that if you do that, they will shoot themselves a little bit. So loads of value with the troll hammer grudge settlers. But I need to go get some more ammo. Yeah, they're starting to look for us now. Yeah, you should probably get rid of that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we army lost them. They must just have some unbreakable units. Yeah, they do. Over here. Over here, kill that fat giant. Come on, one more shot, one more shot, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, I think we killed him, but I'm not sure because he actually disappeared. <laughs> we'll see. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. Okay, good stuff. All right, I could. No, we're gonna replenish anyway. Let's get that oath gold and money. Yeah. Must be paid in blood. You know the rules. All right, so that should sort out this age of reckoning for us, and now we'll just go beeline straight for Cracker Drac. Ugh. Yeah, that sorted out all those grudges. And there you go, 100% with 8 turns left to spare. Nice. Malakari Makaisen. Spirit of Grumni, up, up, All right, it's not too far to go to get there. Time for a one. Oh, uh, well, I didn't know it was there. Well, we'll see if they even decide to attack us. What? All right, let's have a look here. Trying to get to Inquiring Mind. Yep. A gift from Grimny himself. Good, this all helps a great deal. Yep, get that. Awesome. Good. So, loads of ammo, loads of speed. Just fantastic. Good. We got some really good defeat traits there for us as well. So any of those Chaos Factions just shouldn't be a problem for us to deal with. Our income's swelling up reasonably well. Keep reinvesting it back into... Hmm. Don't, really, excuse me, don't really need that right this very second, actually. Let's keep focusing on the money. Okay, that's all we're going to do. And yeah, just store eggs just sitting there just in case they make the attack there. Okay, all good. Making our way down to Cracker Drac. Looks like it'll take us maybe four or five turns to get there. Depends on what gets in our way.
So these guys here, it doesn't look like they're going to move because they're stuck within our zone of control. Attacking them right now could do it, but it'd be a waste of 500 grudges, except for the fact that it would help us along the line of confederation. But at the same time, it would be better to get those grudges when the next Age of Reckoning goes on. So that's seven or eight turns away from now. Plus, we could use this to just jump over his entire army. It is a little bit lazy, but I feel like I've earned it. So we're just going to get over to Cracker Drack. Okay, and then... Yep, just reinvest again. Yeah. Good. Good, and... Okay, we've got the Dwarf Beer. I can actually get four... Of the um, Iron Wooden Tankers. One thing. It is an enchanted item. We'll get four of them. One for each of your heroes there. That way, if they get it caught in melee, that liquid fortification is really going to come in handy for you there. And if you want to put them on somebody else, you can totally do that. Because now you are just raking in the the earth gold. You're going to get it once every couple of turns. Innovator. So, it's an enchanted item, so you can still wear the talisman of preservation. Where is it? There it is. One, two, three, four. Nice. Good. And let's move on. Looks like they want to go for it anyway. This is going to be so bloody easy, it's not even worth recording, so let's just get in, get it done. Got a little bit lazy, and some of my guys got shot down by their javelins. Whoops, no, no big deal though. Can get that replenishment, but I'd much rather get... Actually, that oath gold seems silly now, in comparison. Uh, but the money could be good. I don't think we get replenishment while we're in that stance though. Hmm. A true option. True choice. Yeah, no replenishment with that. Okay, if I take Winter Pyre, I'm not going to be able to make it to Cracker Drack next turn. Whereas if I just jump right over here, I'll be able, I should be able to make it to Cracker Drack. Alright, if we have a look here as well, we just gained a whole bunch of grudges by sorting that out. We could do Grombrindle or Ungram Iron Fist. Again, with these two here, they're not going anywhere. You can do them whenever. If we have a look at at uh, Belagar, you're getting fairly close to him. As for um, Thorgrim, that's still ages away. Um, and Belagar would probably be the most useful of the three that are like not too far away. So I'll let you decide what you want to do with that one. Because I reckon we're going to be ending this as of the next oh, turn. Because I think we're wrong. done here. I'm going to recruit the troops into here for you. For Thorek. I mean, that's not like a perfect doomsday for him, but it's, it's, it's a start. You'll be able to do a fair bit against the Greenskins with that. And yep, we definitely want more Oath Gold. Cool. Oaths of Loyalty finished. We've got Thane's Authority. Control plus two faction wide. He's playing on Legendary difficulty. Yeah, get it. I mean, control's good. Okay, and then let's move on. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of levels up. Let's sort these out first. One more level up to get to Inquiring Mind. How about... Ambush defense well, chances always good. Yeah, you really don't want this am army here getting ambushed. Good. And we're gonna...
wonder if he's got an in-game crisis set up on this one. Shows up right now, friggin' Cracker Drac. Shows up with friggin' 20 armies right here. <laughs> I'm not sorting that out if that happens. Although I could. With this, is this that good? Well, I don't know. It's not really, it's not really designed to be anti-dwarf. Alright, so this one over here, they've only got 10 units. They haven't really built it up much, so when we recapture it, it's gonna be back to tier 1, which sucks. But you gotta start somewhere, and this will be your base operations here, and we can just order that. Cool. Done, and... Done. And you're home. <laughs> so you had a fair bit of growth saved up. Okay, and... Yeah, get that stuff going. So you got two sets of gemstones now, at Lamia and... And at Krakadrak. Cool, I feel like my job here is done. In fact, I felt like the disaster was kind of over after like two or three turns because once I built this army here, there's no chaos forces in this area here that can stand a chance against it. It's completely designed to just fuck with chaos. As long as these guys here don't get discovered, your army is basically invincible. Uh, you could probably even take on three or four stacks of... of um, Archeon's forces. Even Archeon himself just dies like a bitch. So it's just not an issue for you. And they've all got regen on them now, because they've got them all with Iron Warden tankers. And again, if you don't like this, you can just replace it, because you were going about to lose the campaign anyway, so no, no real reason to complain. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time. Bye.